Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious batch of orange squares. Now this recipe today is an old-fashioned recipe and also a viewer's request so we thank you for asking for that. So it's only a few simple ingredients. Of course, if you're interested in that, just stick around and let's get started. So now what I'll do is tell you the ingredients for the crust and we got two and a quarter cups of sifted flour. I'm going to be putting two cups into the bowl, leaving a quarter of a cup to use for the topping. I got a half a cup of crushed almonds and I got a half a cup of confectionery sugar and we got a full cup of butter or margarine whatever you got available. Toss it all in. So now using my pastry cutter I'm going to mix all this in together. Now you could use your hand which I will be in a moment and you could use your mixer with a hook just to get it all incorporated together and crumbly. Just crumbles not a dough. Now I'm going to use my clean hand just to incorporate the rest of those ingredients. Now this is a delicious any time of the year dessert. Most certainly if you're looking to have a few friends or family in and have a nice cup of tea to have with it. So now that's all you need to do there. So what you would need is a 13 by 9 inch pan and a piece of parchment paper to put in the bottom and then we're going to pour all of this filling or the crust in the bottom. Toss all of your crumble mixture out into the bottom and then you're going to spread it around and flatten it. So after you've put your crumble mixture in the bottom of your pan on the parchment paper. You've cut off any excess that's there. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to be putting this crust in there for 10 minutes just for a light brown just to get it uh, sealed a little bit and cooked a little bit of course and then what we'll do next is start the filling for the top. And also, uh, before you put your uh, crust into the oven, um, add a teaspoonful of orange zest into that mixture, mix it around, and then flatten it in the pan. Of course, I forgot to add in that one ingredient, but that's fine, I just did it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to have three, uh, two more teaspoonfuls of the orange zest. I'm going to add it to the bowl. We're going to be using four large eggs a half a cup of granulated sugar or sugar of choice and a half a cup of fresh orange juice or the squeezed orange juice from your fresh orange oranges and a half a teaspoon full of baking powder and of course a quarter of a cup of flour that we kept from making the crust part. So now I'm just going to do the two teaspoonfuls of the orange zest. Pretty much, you can do this in advance, have it in a little dish, or just while you're making it, just zest it up because this smells absolutely amazing. This just smells really nice now, eh, Raymond? Oh, <laughs> with that nice warm wind, you smell of them oranges. It's yeah. nice, eh? Yeah. Nice. yeah. So we need two teaspoonfuls of that into a bowl. I'll just continue doing that until I get enough. So I'm going to use my fresh orange juice as well. I got some squeezed out there, but I'm going to squeeze in and give Raymond some as well. Um, the fresh orange juice up to a quarter of a cup is what you need. And my oven is ready for my crust. So anywhere from a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of your freshly squeezed or 
you can do the store bought. So right now I uh, just put the crust in the oven and we'll get working on that topping, the go over it. We'll get started on that. So now we're going to toss into that delicious juice half a cup of granulated sugar. Mix that around. So we're going to crack the eggs one at a time into a separate bowl and whisk it around, some shell on my finger, and just toss it into that mixture. One at a time just to check it, that's all. And the fourth egg, like I was saying, just put it into a separate bowl just to make sure you check them. Give it a little whisk and toss it into that mixture and mix it around. Now you're going to slowly toss in there your quarter of a cup of flour and whisking at the same time, getting it all in there. And a half a teaspoonful of baking powder. So whisk that around. So my bell just went off for the, the crust, so I'm going to pull that out there now and show you what to do next. I'm going to do now is pull out the crust and we're going to put the topping on there. So what you're going to do now is start pouring all of that mixture over the top of your crust. I'm going to equally distribute it. Just make sure it's on all of the crust. If it don't, that's not a problem. Now we're going to put it back into a 350 degree oven, anywhere, uh, 350 degree Fahrenheit oven, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes until baked. Okay, so we're going to put it in the oven, 350 degree Fahrenheit, middle rack, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'll show you what it looks like. Our orange squares are ready. I'm going to take them out of the oven there now. Smells absolutely amazing in here. Oh it smells so good here. I'm going to let you have a little look and then I'll tell you what's next. Now just look how lovely these orange squares look. But right now they're not squares. They're in our 13 by 9 inch pan. But what we got to do, we got to let them come to room temperature before we cut them. Your orange squares comes to a little bit of a room temperature. Certainly, if you're making it for yourself and and some guests, you're going to let it cool down anyway. You're not going to serve your orange squares hot. But here, right now, we're not going to wait. It's pretty well cooled down. But we're going to cut it now, and I'll show you what it looks like. So just take yourself a big knife and cut in strips first. Turn it and then cut it into squares. Oops. And this is what they look like on the inside. And they smell absolutely amazing. I can't wait to try one. Okay, all that's left for these now is to put a little sprinkle of confectionery sugar over the top of each one. Just to make it a little jazzy, you want to jazz it up. If, well, if you're going to have company or not, doesn't matter. You can also top it with another little bit of that orange zest. And that's all you need to do there. Just another little bit of that zest because it makes it so nice and so colorful. Beautiful. Of course, I gotta have that cup of tea with it. I can't have this delicious orange squares without a cup of tea. Now I'm going to have a little taste. Mmm. So delicious. The burst of the orange zest. And the crunch of the almonds in the crust. So good. Delicious. Mmm. Oh my goodie. I can't wait for you to make these. And I hope the viewer or the viewers that requested orange squares way back when 
is watching here today and they are enjoying this episode as well we're going to provide the recipe and under this video along with um, you know the ingredients we just told you and you can find it as well on www.bonitaskitchen.com you can also visit us on our Facebook page leave us a message on bonitakitchen at gmail.com we love to hear from you and if you haven't subscribed or you haven't joined our newsletter yet just do it because we got over 300 plus videos for you to enjoy also viewers request some recipes of ours and, and don't forget the pictures the pictures viewers pictures if you're making anything at home that you've taken off our videos send us a picture of it at bonnetakitchen at gmail.com and we're doing a slideshow every month showing all of those beautiful baked goods and things that you've cooked from Bonita's Kitchen. I can't wait for you to make these. I'm going to let you go now so you can start doing that. We don't want to take any more of your time. We know it's precious. On behalf of myself and Raymond and the team here at Bonita's Kitchen, thank you for joining us from our kitchen to yours. Have a wonderful day. And don't forget to join, join us again on Bonita's Kitchen. Chandy yours, Benita's kitchen.